Welcome to Wealthy Muslim Women Podcast, a resource for Muslim women to learn about money, how to create it, grow it, and to protect it. Money is easy. All that's needed is the right mindset. I'm your host, Dr. Saima Ali, with life coaching tools to truly help you create wealth in all areas of your life. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. It's been a long, long time. Welcome back to another episode of Wealthy Muslim Woman, episode number 75. It's actually been two years. Facebook just reminded me. Two years since I made the decision to start this podcast. I made the decision in June of 2019. Actually, the decision was probably made way earlier, and uh, I started around June or July of 2019. I remember I made the decision almost six months before that. I think it was in January 2019. And then I told myself that I was not a good public speaker and I won't know how to record a podcast and I have to do Dale Carnegie training first. And the day I finished my Dale Carnegie training, that's when I, that was the day I started my Instagram account, the Wealthy Muslim Woman Instagram account. And that's how the journey started. I'll talk more about it in terms of what the benefits are, not only in terms of how much I love it, and this is a great hobby for me to talk about the things that I love and almost creating a diary for my kids when they grow up and if they want to listen to their mom talk in all these old days when they were a baby, but also how it's beneficial in terms of money, which is something we talk about in this uh, this podcast a lot and saving or um, other business aspects of it. So I will try to get to that in an uh, upcoming episode soon. But I wanted to pretty much restart this as another introduction to the podcast, what my mission goals are. And of course, the main mission or the main goal is to have us all be educated and know where money comes from or how to grow money, which I feel like as a as our culture and as a woman, we are not taught to pay attention to as we're growing up. But this was the longest break that I took away from the podcast. It's been almost six months. I did have two episodes during my maternity leave, but it's been challenging. So I took a break starting in November of last year, and that was when I was about to have my baby. And of course, the biggest challenge has been COVID since last year. There was no vaccine at the time and just being socially isolated. But then we ended up getting COVID. It was 10 days before I gave birth to my baby. And that was just horrific. It was not only social isolation, but being at the hospital alone, because my husband had to be at home with our other two babies, also in quarantine. And me being at the hospital alone, where it It was limited number of people who could even come in. They would actually leave my food outside and I wouldn't even know when they've left the dinner or lunch or any of the any food because they would just leave it outside and not tell me. And uh, that was challenging, but also being alone and being COVID positive with the baby. She had to be in a tube in like a incubator thing. And I had to wear a mask every time I had to take her out to even breastfeed her, but then also worrying that I may transmit this disease to her, knowing that I was positive. So all those challenges. And then, of course, being a new mom and just going through the whole pregnancy and giving birth and then the challenges of breastfeeding, which is literally they're attached to you. And then with this extra added fear of um, possibly transmitting disease to them, was quite challenging. But alhamdulillah, we are almost six months out of that period. And now, alhamdulillah, she's growing and healthy. And, uh, you know, most of us have been vaccinated, obviously not the kids yet, because they don't have the vaccine for under 12 yet. 
but still a lot better situation. And especially when family members have been vaccinated as well, when you're able to meet them, it creates almost a different environment. Anyways, those were my challenges and why I've been away. And I thought we'll start this podcast by reintroducing wealthy Muslim women. So, of course, we talk about money in this podcast, everything related to money, including how to budget, how to save, how to invest, how to plan for retirement, how to plan for the unexpected and disability insurance, life insurance, everything that's out there. And I wanted to start by talking about one of my favorite books of all time, The Richest Man in Babylon. So funny story, I read this book back in high school, I think. And I really thought this was a book from the ancient times and it was found on some broken tablets in some caves and uh, we've been able to translate it. But of course, it was written in 1926 by George S. Um, Clayson, and it's a wonderful, wonderful book recommended to read for anybody who wants to get financial literacy, and the book basically offers cures on how to get wealthy, and it's set in ancient Babylon, 